people by May 2017. Does they cannot put an exact right? date on it. Yeah. But, but I, I thought it had something to do with an alignment of energy that would be the strongest. You will know like when it is happening symbol. by the things that come before it. Not by the actual, uh, you will know by the actual event. But be warned, there will be several things. It will be a domino effect. And a, a couple months before it actually happens, you will start to see collapses. And, and this collapse, when we're talking about dollar collapse, we're talking about world money collapsing. We are talking about universal. Disappearing. Disappearing. We're, we're talking, talking about... about universal correct the cabal is holding up the financial systems of the world right now we're talking about universal money disappearing no more money and they so will it, try to bring it back but i hope but, you do not accept that so it has nothing to do with changing to gold or oh, changing well anything. gold is important For you must while. understand gold has an importance in the universe and so gold will be around. So are we still going to be selling it to the Anunnaki? I cannot tell you that. <laughs> but something like that, universal exchange. I cannot, because I cannot tell you that because that part of future is not written on your world yet. There are several possibilities. So it would, would it have any value to me to own gold? It may. Oh, that's what I've been wondering about. If maybe that's what I should do with my money, it would be better. Some of it, it, not all of it. I would rather purchase um, cold fusion energy if I could find it. That would be beautiful, because that has some. something to do with the future, <laughs> future as well. The energies that are in certain, the Tesla grid okay. has many energies in it that are very valuable to the future. Do you know an entity called Bashar? Yes. He has brought a teaching of how to make a cold fusion type of energy machine. There is, is such a thing, yes. Is that the technology that we're talking about, or is that just a That's, small Tesla part also of it? had that. Now, Tesla was far beyond his time and was given many things from the aliens and from the Akashic records. Why they chose him, I do not know. I, I think because they knew that he would not catch on in his day and age, but that it needed to be exposed to the world in some way back then, but that no one would actually believe him or buy into what he was doing in a very big way. Um, but that it, technology is here and is available to take over our electricity whenever the he has invented it already it was it's been around for many years on your planet but it might be obtainable for people to use but they're hiding it from us but yes, it may come absolutely. forward when we need it in the very near future it will <laughs> come forward. they have they are so far beyond what you can possibly imagine in oh, their I technologies. Have, I can imagine. I have a big imagination. <laughs> they are imagine. so far ahead of the world. This mm -hmm. The secret space program is so far advanced that they are working with aliens every day. But, uh, but the rest of the world does not even know about it. But the timing of the collapse and that technology coming forward are almost synchronistic. Yes, there are exactly. several scenarios on how, after the collapse, it will reform. Very quickly. It would have to be, yes. So I, I have solar energy at this time, but I won't even be needing that for a very long period. It is a good thing to have, but you will, you will need it for a short period of time when the collapse comes. For weeks or years? Weeks. Just, just weeks. Not okay. So we shouldn't invest a lot of money in our solar. Well, it's just well that more would help you if you have generators that use it. Yeah, we, we could we could live just fine on that just for a few weeks. Um, well, 
it was certainly wonderful speaking to you and i i i want to ask you a couple of other questions just because there are so many rumors and myths and we don't know which ones are true or not true here um do you remember a man named ara hobby what significance does he have ara hobby there is a new teaching now um, from a lady who says that he is the man who was actually nailed to the cross to create a diversion so you and I could escape to France. Do you know that story? Yes, but it is not true. So, did we escape to France? Is that true? No. We didn't escape to France. No, we were there. Certain parts of that history are accurate, but certain parts are inaccurate. But we were actually there, and no one took my place. And so I was with you at the cross, and we did not go to France. No. There, there was no Mary Magdalene in France. No. So that, that is all made up, the whole yes. Mary Magdalene in France. Okay. Do you know if I ever went to Turkey? Yes. I was in Turkey. Yes. Uh, you went I, to I Turkey. W I went to Turkey as well. And yeah. I traveled many, many miles in many ways. And because by ship I, and by... I went, to, I went to Turkey in this lifetime, and I was in a place where I really felt like I had been there and I had been there with you. Yes. So that was true. Yes. Okay. That was true. But you they were not are. in France. If you go to France, you will not feel at home there. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. So the, a lot of these new teachings have a lot of... No. Are not uh, that is a wrong. ridiculous teaching, actually. Okay. So the, the whole story about the, the crucifixion and me being Well, the thing is, some people want attention and they have good imaginations. And there is no proof that that is true. Okay. None. Oh, and another, the same lady, said that you were born again on Earth in 2008. No truth to you being reborn there, again on Earth. No, actually, there is a little truth to that. There's another aspect, not, not the Jesus aspect, necessarily, but an aspect of that Jesus spirit that is born in 2008 but it is not going to be one that will be of a great persona on the earth at this time. So is that aspect like bringing back the fifth dimensional... It's holding DNA energy for the planet. Bringing, bringing energy. And there will be aspects of Christ, like myself, that you will notice coming up soon. Because we thought that that's what we were doing in 2008 when we were opening the first ascension portal we yes. thought at that same time was when that aspect of yes. Christ was being returned he is an a he, yes there is an aspect that is there and you did help with that but he is holding energy for the earth and he is not going to be necessarily unless the father decides that he is a going to be a great aspect but the future is not yet told and I was also told that there are seven Mary Magdalene's on Earth. Yes. Are there seven, seven of Seven different you? aspects of Mary seven Magdalene. Of one is a higher self, one is this or that or a spirit, or some are moving around individuals. However, you are more solidly, in some ways, the actual soul she, you have some soul existence with her. Mm. Whereas the, the other existences are not in the soul. I see. They're floating around. Well, they are, one is a higher self. But they're not people. They're not the, actual this people. Is, this right. is Mary Magdalene and different dimensional aspects within my soul. Correct. So, Others so my, are around my, individuals. Your, so, some of your aspects are around others helping them, but as far as soul, you have portions of Mary Magdalene in your soul, which does not exist anywhere else. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I could talk to you for a week or two, but I'm only supposed to be here for one hour. 